Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and y'all know what time it is. We are here for Money Mondays. Now, I'm going to keep it 1,000 with y'all. Your girl has been busy. This week, we are launching the Secure the Bag Money Alignment Collection and I'm going to be real with y'all, I didn't read the book this week. I've been so consumed with making sure that this launch is as great as possible. You guys have noticed I have not been posting um messages for the week um that's all going back to normal after this week um focusing on the line focusing on my birthday turn up on the 21st y'all can't see me but i'm shimmying right now for you anyway <laughs> so this week we are not going to go over the witch's coin by christopher penzak if you are interested in that if you are new here first of all hey boo hit that subscribe um, but if you are, uh, one of my returning babies, you know, we've been covering, uh, the witch's coin, which I'll show you the cover. We've been covering this book, but this week we're not going to go over it because I haven't had time to start diving into chapter three. We'll get into that next week. Um, but if you are interested in that book, the link to the, uh, Amazon page <laughs> is in the description as as well as all of the um products you will see on the table products that i'm using the decks that i'm using all of that fun stuff now because we're not going into the book we're just gonna jump right on into this um you guys know we start every reading with a little bit of breath work so what we're going to do is we're going to take three deep breaths in through the nose inhaling all of the higher vibrating energies love joy peace prosperity all of that fun stuff that we want we're going to hold it in our solar plexus get our stomachs nice and tight for about three seconds holding all of that good energy in and then we're going to release it through the mouth releasing and exhaling all of the lower vibrating energies Fear, doubt, worry, anxiety, imposter syndrome, um, feeling less than worthy, all of that, all that stuff, all that junk. We're gonna we're gonna release all of that, right? So we're gonna do that three times. And while you guys are doing that, I am going to go ahead and tap in and make sure that this reading is direct. It resonates with as much as possible. And we're going to get it cracking, right? So I'm going to be quiet for about 10 to 15 seconds while I do that and while you guys start that breath work, all right? Let's get it cracking. Okay, now while you wrap up that last breath, I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy a little bit further with some sound from the singing bowl. Mm, I needed that. Now, we're going to get real cute with a couple of things. Um, the oil that is now burning in my candle holder here with my lovely lady engulfed in money crystals is my money alignment oil. We conserve and labels, so my label's not on here, but this is my own personal stash of it. It is also a road opener because if you want the money to come, it needs a clear road to do so, right? So it's all kind of good stuff in here, including crystals, because crystals are my life and everything I do is revolving around crystals. Um, as always, we are using the beautiful brew alchemy intention line for intuition. So let's get that popping. And then last but not least, like I displayed last week is my money alignment mist. Again, we're conserving labels here. I want, I want the labels to go on the products that y'all gonna have. I don't need the labels, right? 
So let's go ahead and spritz a little bit of that as well. Now, all of these products will be available on Wednesday, April 21st. On my birthday, you guys will be able to buy everything from the line. Um, be on the lookout for my deck review and be on the lookout for my collection review. I will be going over every product, telling you guys how you can use them, what they're used for, all of that good fun stuff, right? Enough advertising, let's slang some cards. I hear you, let's go. We're going to start with the Field Tarot, like we always do. This is my boo, I love this deck. Let's get this going. What do we have this week, Spirit? Let's talk to us about this money. How are we securing? Oh, how are we securing this bag this week, man? See, I got the gold nails today. We, we, we really getting it in this week. It looks like I might have to manually pull some of these cards, y'all. I don't have any more jumpers. Nope. Okay. So we're starting off with the tower, the chariot, the nine of wands, the death card, the prince of swords. So the knight of swords. Perspective. And the Four of Pentacles. With the bottom of the deck being the Queen of Pentacles. So, there's going to be some redirection this week. Some of the things that you guys thought were kind of concrete, things that were moving along fairly, you know, smoothly, there's going to be some redirections, right? Now, we all know that the easiest point from A to B is a straight line, right? But at the same time, that's not how spirit operates. <laughs> spirit throws curves ball, curve balls. Spirit throws dips, uh, valleys, mountains, all of these different things because the lesson is in the journey. If you know you went from point A to point B in five seconds, what are you learning in those five seconds, right? And I feel like this is definitely a redirection type of week. Um, it's not a setback. It is a redirection. You guys know how I feel when it comes to the tower, especially when we talk about this particular tower for this particular deck. You don't see any destruction in this in this tower. You don't see anything crumbling. You don't see anything falling. The foundation is there. This is the warning. This is the this is the first shot to let you know, hey, it's time to check your foundation. If you really feel like this foundation is strong, it's time to bunker down and be prepared for a redirect. If you feel like there might be a couple of cracks here and there, and if you look, there is some very small cracks, right? If you feel like the cracks can't be repaired, then it's time to jump ship. But at the same time, this is the warning shot. This is letting you know that the redirect is coming, regardless if you're checking the foundation or not, you're going to have to get acclimated, right? Again, this does not mean that anything is crumbling. This does not mean that anything is falling. This is simply a redirect. This is simply a part of the journey, right? So when we move on into the chariot, we start talking about directions based on this tower. This is... If only you guys knew how much of a hashtag self-drag this is. Um, when we talk about the chariot, we start talking about who is driving your chariot, right? And with this particular card, I feel the duality. I feel the the commitment to duality in this particular card. And I feel like so long as your chariot is moving along the same journey, as long as you can keep both sides of yourself, 
unified and in and, and balance that you can be in absolute control of your chariot and you can go down this path um understanding every perspective understanding why there may be a fork in a road understanding why the redirect has to happen oh boy <laughs> this whoo this message is you guys know I love telling y'all my business. This is a very timely message. And I'm not even just talking about when it comes to money. Um, so looking at the tower, looking at the chariot. Okay, so you have this warning shot with this spirit letting you know a redirect is on the way. How do you now manage that? Under the guise of duality, understanding that you are in control of how you receive this redirect. And I feel like the Nine of Wands is letting you know that you have everything within you to take this redirect, to take this perceived setback and move forward. And what happens when you move forward is that you have to leave things behind. You have to let certain things die, certain certain um, expectations, certain certain um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not just expectations, but certain ideals. Um, certain plans have to be changed at the end of the day because this redirect is going to propel you into something that's even better than what you imagined. Uh, because as we know, in death comes rebirth, right? So with that rebirth comes this new sense of determination where we talk about this knight of swords, this prince of swords. And it's almost finding the strength to be better for this redirection, right? This looks like somebody that's, you know, a soldier in training, a knight working on his craft, understanding that in order to be the knight that he wants to be, there's training, there's work that's involved, right? You have to do the work in order to understand the redirect, in order to understand this new perspective that's been given to you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of you who are my students, um... Those of you who are in school right now, there's going to be a change of plans by the time summer hits, is what I'm being told. Um, I'm not quite sure what that looks like. Lord knows I have not been in school in... Oof, I'm not even going to age myself like that. But it's been a minute, right? But I feel like there's going to be some changes that involves maybe either you were planning on going to summer school and you won't be able to or you're going to need to go to summer school. Don't look at it as a setback. Look at it as a redirect. Um, those who are buying houses, um, costs are going to be different than what you thought it was going to be. This is a redirect. This is not a setback. Understand that everything that's happening is propelling you for something even better, which is why the perspective card comes up. It's time to change your perspective. It's time to, oh, excuse me, chime. It's time to understand that while you may feel like you're in the dark, spirit is literally telling you that you're actually in a state of complete clarity. You have to change the perspective of how you're receiving information. God damn it, this is a self-drag. <laughs> hey, y'all don't even understand right now. It's time to change the perspective of how you're looking at your current situation. It's time to change the perspective of what you feel you have compared to what you feel like you, well, excuse me, what you feel like you don't have in comparison to what you actually have and how to use what you have. Because ultimately, I feel like this is a full circle moment with the four of pentacles um, being the last card and the tower being the first card. It's all about stability. And I feel like a lot of you guys are, um, myself included, uh, feeling as if the foundation isn't there, so you're ready to jump ship. However, the foundation is a lot stronger than you can imagine, and you have to change your perspective. 
<laughs> guys, if you're new to my channel, I just want to let you guys know that I am not one of those readers who um, cannot not recognize when I am also being dragged for fucking filth. This is definitely a self-drag to the nth degree. And I mean right down to right before me recording this particular video. Um, change your perspective this week, loves. A lot of you are doing way better than you give yourself credit for. The decisions that you've made and the way that you feel are valid. And... <laughs> You're doing a lot better than you think. Um, now, when we talk about our underlying energy being the queen of discs, this is um, very much Empress vibes. I feel like the queen of pentacles is the minor arcana version of the Empress. And the Empress is about rebirth. The Empress is about um, longevity and, and building generations and building legacies, right? When we talk about the queen and the king of pentacles. So at the end of the day, what you're building right now, everything you're trying to do is pushing the needle forward towards this legacy, towards this longevity. You're going the right way despite the detours that you feel like you need to take. They're all, all of the detours, all of the redirections, all of the setbacks are literally things that have to take place in order for you to, to be at the level of self-mastery you need to be at to get to your goal. Wow. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> guys, I... You guys have this. You have this in the bag. You are way more capable and you have way more resilience in you than you believe. Um, And I definitely feel like for those of you who are having trouble receiving the message, I feel like there are some of you out here who are resisting this message right now because this redirect is very strong and this redirect, you know, feels like the whole road has been blown up. Like there is no more goal. For those of you who are feeling like you're struggling to be open to this message, trust me when I say this is going to happen regardless. And if you don't change your perspective, you're going to start to see bigger cracks in this tower. You're going to start to see, you know, chips falling off. This this is one of the most stable tower cards in any of the decks that I have. And y'all know I have an egregious amount of tarot and oracle decks. This is one of the strongest um, towers I've seen. But this can easily be chipped away. This can easily crumble if you don't change your perspective. If you don't give yourself grace and give yourself credit for everything that you've done thus far. And everything you felt. Because every, every emotion, whether you realize that, you know, it may not have been the best emotion to have, in the moment is very valid. And in the moment, it's worthy. So understand these emotions, process the emotions, and then progress, right? Um, I'm going to move on to the secret language of color, as always. I know Money Monday, we get real focused on the bag, but honestly, this week feels different. This week is hitting a little bit different, y'all. This is, this is just real life shit this week. Still want to get that bag, though. Still have to understand that, you know, when it comes to the alignment of money, it's all encompassing. It's, it's you know, what is going on around what you're trying to accomplish, right? You can't be on the frequency of money 
if you know the stress and anxiety of everything else is also weighing you down you have to be in total alignment of everything in order to align to the frequency of money so i'm kind of glad this week is not you know this is you know as always it's about the money but at the same time this is about total wellness total wellness And I mean, as a tourist, you know, we always talk about the bag, but we have to look at everything too. Hashtag self-drag. All right. Let's keep this moving. Oh, so we got apricot, apricot. Y'all yeah, know I'm terrible with saying that. How do y'all say it? Apricot or apricot? By the way, while I'm shuffling, I will be responding to uh, comments. I know it's been a couple of weeks, y'all. I'm telling you, April has been a whirlwind month for me on so many levels. But I'll get to you guys. I love all of your comments. No matter what you have to say, I appreciate the comments. Okay. Lav <laughs> I'm pretty sure Lavender came up last week too. And Amber, awaken your creativity. Bottom of the deck being violent, create an abundant, a balanced life. These are both cards that came up last week. So, I mean, it stands to say that it's still very much relevant. Um, we have the balance card, which goes back to that chariot, keeping yourself balanced, keeping yourself aligned with your goal, despite any setbacks, um, kind of keeps your head level, kind of keeps the pendulum in between, right? We talk about the fact that the pendulum, if it swings too far this way, it's going to swing just as far that way. And so you want to keep yourself balanced. You want to be able to connect to your mind, your body, and your soul, keeping everything aligned so you can keep that pendulum steady, right? So you're never on the ends of one extreme or the other because um, that's kind of where shit gets real. <laughs> if you're too far this way and you start to swing this way, that's just those two extremes never really make for a balanced life, right? Rejoice, laugh. Don't take these redirections so seriously. Um, don't feel as if all hope, joy, and peace is lost just because the plan isn't what spirit had for you. Um, I mean, the worst thing you can do is, is, is create a plan and expect it to go exactly how you want it to go, right? So... In this particular case, you definitely want to make sure that you are giving yourself grace. You're giving yourself time to be grateful and be happy for everything that's happening, whether it's comfortable or not. You can be happy about the journey without being comfortable with the progress of it. Um, and then, of course, awaken your creativity. When we talk about your creativity, I feel like in this particular case, we're talking about the perspective. You have to be creative when it comes to shifting your perspective and shifting your outlook on things because things can look really bleak and really messed up one minute. But if you kind of dig through those emotions, kind of dig through what you're feeling, you can always find a silver lining in it. And that takes creativity sometimes. Sometimes you have to like trick your brain into finding some vitamin D in the middle of some bullshit <laughs> in order to shift your perspective, in order to pull yourself out of whatever spiral you might be um, experiencing. So overall, we're dealing with heavy uh, crown and sacral chakra energy um, where we are pushing through the um, possible like trauma of a redirect. Sometimes being forced into a perspective change or being forced to shift what you felt was like a fast moving train can easily cause everything to go out of whack, right? But Spirit is telling you to tap back into who you are, tap back into your higher consciousness to understand 
where the lessons are here, where, um, where you can move forward. If we're looking at numbers, we have a two, we have an eight, we have a six, and we have a nine. So we talk about two, that duality, that balance, right? Which also climb, climbs, it also connects to the six. Six is always about balance, right? I put the 44 together. Um, 44 is also considered a master number. Um, that's heavy stability, heavy. That's now three fours that we're looking at. But when you put it together, that's eight. Well, now we're talking about abundance, right? And then the bottom of the deck being 45, that's going to, you know, move into a nine. We're talking about ending cycles here. Ending cycles of allowing redirections to sway us, to, you know, completely throw us and make us want to give up. There's no giving up, right? Giving up is never an option, at least not to me. Um, there's always ways to redirect the energy, but you don't give up. We, we don't do that around here. That's that's not how we roll, right? So now we're going to pull out my deck, which is, you know, secure the bag of the Modern Money Oracle, which will be available for purchase on Wednesday. Haha, -ha. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's get this going. I plan on having the deck review up within the next 24 hours. So be on the lookout for a full deck review of my deck. As well as the collection review. Okay. I'm telling y'all right now, if sovereignty over solicitation come up, I'm going to find out which one of y'all sitting up here not listening to me and we going to fight. Because that, that card has come up about three times now. And one of y'all energy is pulling that card. We going to fight because you not listening. No jumpers today. All right. Well, let's see here. Make it tangible. You know what? We fighting. We fighting. Who is it? Which one of y'all is it? Because we going to fight. We going to fight. That's what it is. And then the bottom of the deck is Citrine. So make it tangible. Sometimes um, when we get redirected and we get shifted into a different um a different part of our path it's hard to see how it makes sense so i feel like the make it tangible card came up because it, at this point we have to find ways to physically physically aid in this redirect whether that's sight smell uh feel what is something that is tangible that you can say okay I understand this, so now this is how I'm going to shift my perspective, right? It says, in order to fully manifest what you want, you have to make things tangible. To achieve this, you have to transform your intentions from the spiritual to the physical by triggering your senses. How can you see, smell, taste, hear, or feel the frequency of what you want? Maybe not always taste. We don't want to go around licking things, people, right? But how can we take this uh redirect and make it tangible so that it's more easily digestible for us to change our perspective um i feel like some of you are going to need to journal some of you are going to need to write down your thoughts write down how you feel about this redirect and then see if that triggers the help you need to move forward now with this sovereignty over solicitation y'all keep sitting up here looking for outside permission, looking for outside validation, this redirect has to be received by you and you alone. You could talk until you're blue in the face, but if you don't understand that you need to make things happen, you're going to be stuck in this solicitation mindset, this, this needy mindset, and it's only going to cause further lack. It's only going to cause further... It's going to push you further down the spiral. 
We gonna fight. I want to fight. You got this. It's already yours. You don't need permission to go after what you want. It says it right on the card. If this redirect happens, you don't need to go and check behind somebody to say, oh, well, do you think I should do this or can I do this? No, baby, handle it yourself. Because that is part of the lesson for many of you is that you need to go out and get it yourself. Nobody is going to be able to get you to your journey like you. I see memes all the time saying there's a reason why nobody understands your calling because it wasn't a conference call. What? I've said it before in my podcast. There's a reason why you can't share glasses because not everybody has the same vision. You got to go out and get it yourself. You have to make the changes. You have to change the perspective yourself. Hashtag self drag. Now, with that being said, we talk about financial literacy understand when it comes to what things may cost the 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 hidden fees the contracts different things like that for my students when it comes to financial aid when it comes to housing when it comes to just the cost of going to school period double check triple check make sure there's no ways that you can get a cheaper deal those of you who are not students Understand the budget of whatever it is you're doing. Baby, let me tell you, as I've been getting this collection together, all of the minor details that I didn't think about, all of the, the little nuanced things that cost money on top of money, on top of money, I didn't think about. That was my bad. I had to tap into my own financial literacy, do more research, and then come back stronger. That was a redirect for me because, baby, that budget had to grow almost twice its size. Having that financial literacy helps you to shift your perspective when we're talking about the focus of money. When we're talking about outside of money, because I feel like this is very much an overall reading with a money undertone. When we talk about just period, everything you're doing needs to have a level of research, needs to have a level of understanding, a level of literacy. Because when we have these redirects, when we have these moments where we have to change our plans and we have to come up with different ways to understand what's happening, that takes more self-mastery. That takes more work to understand what's going on. That takes more research. That takes more, more moments with Google. That takes more moments with books. That takes more moments with other people having conversations that need to be had. Literacy. Understanding what needs to be done before you can even make it tangible, right? Bottom of the deck being citrine. Says one of the most common prosperity crystals, citrine is known for being a money magnet stone. It is often used as a confidence booster as well as a stone to remove blockages. It absorbs and transmutes negative energy to assist you in creating a space of wealth and abundance. Carry it, meditate with it, and laying it under your pillow are great ways to use this stone. Citrine is a staple in my house. Citrine is everywhere. Citrine is in this candle holder. It is, y'all, citrine is everywhere for me. Um, it is also in my mist and in my oil, just throwing that out there. But, um, this is definitely a stone that is not only for prosperity, but, uh, prosperity, but it's good for a road opener too. Um, so with that being said, get your little piece of citrine, throw it in your bra, throw it in your pocket, whatever. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up with the Sacred Creators Oracle. Guys, this really... <laughs> Money Monday this week is raw. <laughs> I don't even understand what's happening right now. But I receive this message in its entirety because I'm going to tell y'all right now, this reading is kicking my ass. I'm going to have to journal. I'm going to have to watch this and journal because, who boy. Who boy. Let me know how excited you guys are for this collection, though. Like, I, 
this has been such a labor of love that has spanned months of shadow work, months of research, months of planning and understanding my own frequency so that I can present something to you that'll help you with yours. Like, guys, I am so excited. And then, of course, my birthday is in a, you know, couple days. Shout out to my Tauruses, Bull Game, what? Maybe one day I'll get into horoscope readings. Not right now, though. All right, sacred creators, what do you have for us this week? I'm telling y'all, I don't know what it is. I might have to start switching out. I might have to switch this deck out because <laughs> y'all are attracting the same cards week after week and i know y'all see me shuffling okay uh -huh. and look external validation is on top of sovereignty over solicitation i'm y'all we gonna really fight we are going to throw those paws because Stop. We're not doing this, guys. <laughs> so it says magic happens when you most expect it. External validation, collaboration of souls, and make a mission statement for your soul. That is the one right there. So make magic happen when you most expect it. This is the epit epitome of um, the magician energy, right? We are in a, the year of the magician. We are in a period where alchemy is a must, Magic happens when you expect it to because you make it happen. Why? Because you're not trying to find external validation or solicitation or permissions, approvals. We're not doing that. Because we can make the magic happen when we most expect it. We are the magicians of our lives. We are the alchemists. We are the sovereign beings. Guys, now, with that being said, it's okay to look for a collaboration. It is okay to join like minds together. However, the moment you become codependent, the moment that you become reliant on that extra energy is where you find yourself stuck when this redirect happens for you and not the people you're trying to get validation from. I'm going to let y'all sit with that because I'm going to say it again. The moment you become codependent and this redirect happens, this tower moment happens, you're not going to know what to do because the tower is happening to you and not the people you're trying to get validation from. Right? Bottom of the deck, make a mission statement for your soul. That is powerful. Powerful. As you move through life, as you move through this week, what is your mission statement for this week? Let's just let's just keep it on a weekly basis. What is your mission statement for this week? What do you want your soul to accomplish this week? And that sounds real deep. It doesn't even have to be that deep. You guys know my readings can either be life-changing or very mundane. It covers the entire spectrum because energy moves how it wants to move. But this week, ask yourself, what is your mission statement for your soul? Because only you know. I can't give you that information. Right? This has been whew, therapeutic, y'all. I needed this reading more than I knew. So I hope it resonated with you guys as well. Um, again, be on the lookout Wednesday, midnight. We dropping. It's getting real. It's getting real serious with this Secure the Bag collection. Be on the lookout for the deck review and the collection review between now and the next 36 hours. Who knows? It might be sooner. I'm always rooting for you guys. I love you guys. Um, and I am sending you lots and lots of love and light. And until next time, peace.